He's following me. About time. I had to walk past the old train depot five times before this one caught the scent of my perfume on the wind. I feign obliviousness to the sound of his dull footsteps in the darkness behind me. My fingertips skim the worn handle of the hatchet hanging at my waist, hidden by the flutter of a red cloak. The cloak serves multiple purposes. The color of passion, sex, and lust is irresistible to wolves, and the fabric hides the instruments of their death. And perhaps, most important, wearing it feels right, as if I've put on a uniform that turns me into more than a scarred-up orphan girl. I'm Jackson Pierce, and I wrote a book called Sisters Red that's being released this June by Hotter Children's Books in the UK. Sisters Red is the story of Scarlet and Rosie March. Scarlet and Rosie survived a werewolf attack when they were younger. The werewolf killed their grandmother and left Scarlet covered in horrific wounds from where she stepped in front of Rosie to save her sister's life. Now they hunt werewolves to prevent other girls from suffering their same fate. Scarlet lives for the hunt, it's everything that she is, whereas Rosie kind of imagines a life beyond hunting wolves all the time. Sisters Red is an action book. There are a lot of hunting scenes, a lot of fighting scenes, but it's also sort of at heart about two sisters trying to figure out who they are, especially in relation to one another. The idea for Sisters Red didn't really come to me all at once. I sort of knew that I wanted to write a book about sisters and what it meant to be the older sister and what it meant to be the younger sister. And I also knew that I wanted to do a retelling of Red Riding Hood. I had this really strong image in my mind of Red Riding Hood as the warrior and as the fighter instead of as the victim. And I wanted to do a story about that. And then one day the two concepts kind of just slammed into one another and um, Sisters Red was born. I think I definitely called on my relationship with my sister when I was writing this book. The thing about sibling relationships is you're stuck with the person. They're not going to go away. Uh, they're going to stay your brother or your sister no matter if you're talking to them, if you love them, if you're angry at them, if you think they're great. Uh, they're always going to be your sister or brother. And I think that kind of forces people to come to terms with their relationship, even when it's hard sometimes. I love writing. It's, it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do with my life, and I'm very, very fortunate that I'm able to have it as a profession. Uh, because of that, I don't really have a lot of hobbies outside of writing. Um, I do coach a high school color guard and a winter guard program, uh, which I've done since I graduated high school. It's a lot of fun. I also have a dog and a cat. And, you know, I like to do the sort of basic standard things. I hang out with friends and, and go to movies and whatnot, but writing is definitely my passion. Sisters Red is set in Atlanta, Georgia, which is also where I live. Um, I didn't originally plan to set it in Atlanta. I thought I was going to set it in uh, Paris, France. And then it occurred to me that I've never been to Paris, France, so perhaps I shouldn't set it there. Um, uh, I considered setting it in New York City, but it occurred to me that perhaps my editor, who lives in New York, would be able to find discrepancies in the text pretty easily if I did that. Um, and so I sort of settled on Atlanta, in a way, as a last resort, but um, now I can't imagine the this, this story taking place anywhere else. The great thing about setting the book in my hometown was that I was actually able to go explore the locations that the scenes in my book would take place in. It's funny because I actually got to know parts of Atlanta because of the book that I might have missed had I not written it.